Is Jesus Christ the only way to heaven? In this video, we look at the Bible's answer to that question. Hello, everyone. A few years ago, I was asked to address a gathering of philosophy students and professors at a large university. My topic, is Jesus the only way to heaven? Do Christians really believe that? How could they? Needless to say, it was a hostile audience, but the Bible speaks with one voice on this issue. So I began. Yes, the Bible teaches that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Why does it say that? Because the Bible's definition of man's predicament leaves us with no other choice. According to the Bible, the basic human problem is separation from God because of sin. Isaiah 59, 2 says that sin has separated us from God. It leaves us alienated and with a sense of dread and hopelessness. Man's problem is not ignorance, a problem that can be solved by education. As one historian said, it was the best educated nation in the history of the world that took Hitler to its breast. Our educational system more and more produces savages, not saints. Man's problem is not an inability to cultivate his internal goodness, and the reason for that is because he has no internal goodness. One of the most controversial statements I ever made in the college classroom, and one I made many times, was that a two-year-old is Hitler with less opportunity. If you raise children or you work in a daycare center, you already know that. Little children are evil. They are selfish. They very early learn the most obscene four-letter word in the English language, mine. Man's problem is not unjust social and economic structures, like Karl Marx and the modern left argue. Even after man's physical needs are met, he is capable of unspeakable wickedness. Now, according to the Bible, man's problem is spiritual. In Ephesians 2.1, the Bible teaches he is spiritually dead. He does not even desire a relationship with God. The Old Testament prophet Jeremiah said, The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. In Romans 3.10, the Apostle Paul gives a complete list of all the righteous people who have ever lived. There are none righteous, no, not one. Man's sin separates him from God. The sin condemns us to an eternity away from God. So that's the fundamental human problem. How do you solve it? Well, the Bible says that Jesus solved it. For our sake... He made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And that's what's taught in 2 Corinthians 5.21. He bore our sins on the cross, and when we receive him as Savior, a miracle occurs. His life becomes our life. The curse of death is removed. We inherit eternal life. Jesus is the only solution because he is the only one who addresses the real problem. So let me summarize. First, once we let the Bible define our problem, we clearly see Jesus is the only solution. Second, the Bible clearly states that Jesus is the only way to heaven. He himself said that in John 14, 6. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. In one of the very first sermons of the early church, the Apostle Peter said in Acts 4.12 that there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Third, we have the witness of early Christians. Rather than pay Caesar a minimum of worship, they instead suffered for their faith. They could have continued to believe in Jesus, but they were also required to believe in Caesar, but they refused to do that. And for this, many of them died. Fourth, if Jesus is not the only way to heaven, then you cut the heart out of Christian missions. There's no reason to take the gospel to the far reaches of the earth if people can be saved some other way. So what do you do? If you have not received Jesus as your Savior, or if you are not sure you have, bow your head right now and give your life to him. And then when you arise, begin to tell others about him. He is their only hope. Thanks for watching. 
I have other videos nearby on this topic, and be sure and subscribe. May the Lord bless you in a mighty way.